Texas. I actually grew up in the Houston Galveston area. I worked in Beaumont, Texas. It was my first television job. Wow. Okay, now I had some friends that visited Beaumont uh, a few years ago, and they let me know that it was a little the the race issues down there were um, they were shocked from coming from New York, going down to Beaum uh, Beaumont, Texas. For somebody such as yourself, that's from you know I guess the south, southwest. Uh, what is it like coming up to New York? Uh, what is the difference culturally? And, and, and being an as African American female. First of all, that is a long conversation. But you know, I, I, as a journalist, I worked in several different places. I worked. I started in Texas, then I went to North Carolina, then I was in Atlanta before I came to New York. So I really worked across the South. And look, in some areas there is still some tension. Um, but the interesting thing is, as you well know, living in New York, there is some tension. Still took over um here and now. Um, I took over well here and now became like it is became here and now. How is that? That's that's a little prestigious position. Yeah, the station regards the show is really important. And they would love to have been able to, to keep the name. But the, the like it is the name is owned by the Gil Noble State. So they had no choice but to change the name. Issues, uh, you know, here and now. Do you sometimes feel that like there's no hope? Like, like some issues, it's like, oh man, this keeps happening in our community. Not give up, but it's like sometimes you have to take a chill and 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 and, and, and regroup and, and reassess. No, I'm, you know what? Well, because you run into the same issues in the larger community. I mean, I'm a journalist, and unfortunately, we're doing the same stories over and over. And sometimes you think, don't we learn? You know, I think unfortunately, some of it is human nature. So, you know, for every issue, you know, we deal with that is, um, you know, frustrating, a uh, 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 little bit negative, you know, there's some other positive story that we have on, some group that's really making progress in the neighborhood, some young people that are, you know, as my mother would say, really showing out in school, they're really doing well. So I, I think that, you know, there is, there's a balance there. There's, you know, there's good, there's bad, there's negative, and there's, uh, you know, hope. We have some issues, but there's so many wonderful things going on, and I think that the show gives voice to a lot of those things that people don't know about, because they're small, but you know, in their community, they're important. 
type of advice do you have to give to any young sister out there that says, I want to be a journalist or anchor woman on TV, but I want to keep my natural hair? Can they do that? Or is it like, do you have stylists that say you can't wear certain things? No, I, I mean, you know, look. The truth of the matter is, is I do work in a business where appearance is important. There are people running the business sometimes that prefer certain things. And not just for black women, for white women too. So I think you just have to, like, if you want to be a journalist, don't worry about your natural hair. Hone your hair nicely and, and work about, learn, focus on learning your craft. And then if you run into that, then you deal with that there. But I think the, the world is changing so much and the business is changing so much. And you know, people of color are going to be the dominant you know, population in, in not too long a time from now. So I just don't think that should be what you're concerned about. I think you should be true to yourself and learn your craft and let the rest of that stuff take care of itself.